Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our Tuesday Collective Worship. Just before we get going, I just want to thank all of you for the lovely comments that you've sent in about really enjoying the Collective Worship videos. Mrs. Carter and I love doing them for you. We really feel that through doing this, we are with you, whether you're at home and you're listening with your family or you're at school, you're listening with your teachers, and I know lots of you who are in school have been enjoying the songs and singing along and dancing during the moves as well, which is brilliant. And it is really a privilege for us to be part of this special time with you every time we film one of these collective worship videos. So thank you so much for your support. We really do appreciate it. We're going to begin our collective worship this morning by singing, My Jesus, My Saviour, Lord, there is none like you. Enjoy the song. Well done everyone, I hope you enjoyed the song this morning and we're going to have another one later with actions as well. Okay, we're going to play a little game of the odd one out. So I've got a group of objects in front of me here and I want you to see if you can find which one is the odd one out. Okay, I'm guessing that was really quite easy, yeah? This one is the odd one out, of course it is because the rest of them are fruit and vegetables, whereas this one is a sauce, really, it's a salad dressing or salad cream. So this one is the odd one out. Well done. Okay, let's make it a bit harder now. Right, I wonder which one is the odd one out this time. I'm just going to give you a couple of moments to have a quick think about it. 
Okay, did you guess it? Well, it's definitely harder because this time they're all sauces. We've got salad cream, some Nando's Perinase, and some Stokes Mayonnaise. So, did you guess the right one? This one is the odd one out. And you could have said this one for a couple of different reasons. You can't see it so well on the screen, but actually this one is an orangey colour, whereas these two are more of a cream colour. But the other difference is that this one has lots of red hot spicy chilies in. So this one is spicy, whereas the other two aren't. So that one was a little bit harder. Now sometimes it can be really easy to see which one is the odd one out, because it's very obvious. But other times it can be a little bit more tricky and we have to think a bit more deeply about it. Now, I wonder if there are any times when you felt that you were the odd one out, when you perhaps felt different to everyone else around you. Sometimes we can feel the odd one out because we haven't got the latest game that everybody else has got and they're all talking about it and we can't because we haven't seen it. Or sometimes we, that people might be talking about a TV program they've watched or a YouTube video that they've watched and you really want to join in the conversation because if you don't, you feel like you're being left out, you feel you're the odd one out, but actually, you've not got a clue what they're talking about and it's really hard to join in. I know at school, something that I was much better at than football was music. I was quite good at playing the piano, I could play the violin a bit as well. Not terrible, but I could do it. And lots of people were really good at football and I really wanted to talk to them about that and share that, but actually, I really wasn't that great at it at all. But music was something that I could do. But sometimes that does make us feel a little bit as if we're different, as if we're the off one out. But sometimes, actually, it's a really good thing to be the odd one out. And even though we might feel inside, that makes us somehow not as good as everyone else. We can have the courage to be different, to stand up and say, no, that's not right. We know that in this instance, it's right to be different and it's good to be different. So. We're going to listen to Mrs. Carter tell a Bible story about someone that was just a little bit different, who stood up and who said, no, that's not right. And listening to this story, we're going to find out how God supported them and God looked after them. Enjoy the story. We have our Bible story now. And this story is about a man called Daniel it's in a book called Daniel and it's found in the Old Testament. Well, Daniel was a, a young man, an important man, and he worked for the king. <clears throat> he was so good at his job that he was in line for a big promotion. Now, that made the other people that worked for the king rather jealous. Uh, and they got together to try and think of a way to bring Daniel down. They had a really good idea. It was a very sneaky, unkind idea. What they did was they noticed that Daniel prayed to his God three times a day. They were, he was fling open the windows of his, ro of his room and pray loudly to God. Well, they had a good idea and they went to the king. Oh, most noble king, they said. You are fantastic, the greatest king. We think that you should say that everybody has to pray just to you and worship you for the next 30 days and that they should put no other God before you. Well, the king thought that was a rather special idea um, and uh, he was all set to do it. And then they said, well, and also, if anyone dares to uh, pray or worship another god, they should be thrown into the lion's den. Done, said the king. And he signed a proclamation, a decree that said that Everyone had to worship him. They had to bow down to him. Well, what do you think Daniel did when he knew that that is what had been decided? 
Do you think he ran away? Do you think he pretended to worship the king? Do you think he perhaps hid the fact that he was worshipping his own God? Mm -mm. No, he went back, threw open the window like he always did and worshipped God, prayed loudly and, well, you can imagine, straight away there were people watching and they reported back to the king. Well, Mabel King, somebody isn't doing what you have decided. The king was very sad when he discovered it was Daniel. But he'd signed the decree. He'd authorised it. So he said, take him away to the lion's den. But quietly to himself, he said, may your God save you, Daniel. What do you think God did? Well, he kept the lion's mouth shut and the next morning when they went to get to open to find out what had happened there was Daniel not a heart, hair on his head had been hurt the king was overjoyed oh, Daniel has been saved and the king realized how powerful Daniel's God was and he made a new declaration, a new decree. From now on, everyone must fear and worship the God of Daniel. It must have been hard to be Daniel, to know what to do. He probably felt like the odd one out. Everyone else was worshipping and um, bowing down to the king. But he knew that he must do something different, that he must worship God. When he was put into the lion's den, Daniel did not know whether God would rescue him. But he trusted God anyway. Sometimes, being the odd one out, is the hard choice. I wonder what we would have done if it had been us. Let's say a prayer. Dear God, thank you that you protected Daniel. When we are facing really difficult decisions, help us to know what to do too and to make the right choice. Amen. So, in the story of Daniel, Daniel called on God for help. And God didn't ignore him and just leave him there, struggling. God listened to him, God responded, and God helped him. So we're going to sing a song that reminds us that when we call on God for help, God will listen. He'll help us and he'll be there for us if we have the courage to ask and to stand up. It's called, I am a friend of God. I'll show you the actions, but I think lots of you know this song already. I hope you enjoy singing it. Okay, here are the actions. They go like this. Who am I that you are mindful of me? So who Am I that you are mindful of me? That you hear me when I call? Is it true that you are thinking of me? How you love me? And then it's amazing. And then the chorus bit goes like this. Do you remember it? I am a friend of God. Whoa. I am a friend of God. Whoa. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. 
and that's most of the actions. I'll show you the other little bit when we get to it in the song. Are you ready? Let's do it with the music. decided to carry on praying, he didn't know what would happen to him. But he did know that he wasn't on his own. He knew he had God with him and God would help him and he trusted God. And because he trusted God, a whole nation turned to the miracle working God of Daniel's. He must have felt like the odd one out. And sometimes we find ourselves being the odd one out. Would we choose the right thing? There are lots of people who, even if they'd been like Daniel, might not have made the choices he made. They might have been waiting for a leader. 
It's hard sometimes to make the right decisions, to make the right choices. Let's pray and ask God to help us when we make decisions. Thank you, Lord, that you protected Daniel. When we are faced with difficult decisions, I pray that you will help us to choose the right thing to do. Amen. Let's say the peace together. Peace be with you. And also with you. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you again on Thursday. Bye for now.